This is a hockey brush. This is one of my favorite brushes. Um, it's been neglected for a little while sitting over in the corner and I've started using it again for watercolor painting and journaling. It's a goat hair brush. It's made in, um, well it's traditional for Japan, but this one is actually made in China. Um, they come in different widths here. So this is a two inch width, but you can also get them in quite wide, um, like two, like four inches or, or even bigger. So it's a wonderful brush to add to your watercolor and journaling practice. I'm gonna show you um, how it works to do a watercolor background in this journal. I'm working in the Handbook Company journal. It's a watercolor journal with a beautiful linen cover. And you can see that um, I'm do, going to do a really wet process today. So you can see that I've put down some canvas here or you could put a sheet of paper. I don't want it to drip over the edges and, and wreck the rest of the book. So I have that tucked in there. So you would need a big soft brush like this. This is um, goat hair, as I said. You need a water container that is um, wide enough that your brush can fit into it. So uh, I have this one that I often use, but it's a little bit tight. So make sure you've got a, a big water container, a rag, and some paints to work with. So what this soft brush is great at doing is picking up loads of water. And so you can do these lovely soft wet into wet techniques. So I'm just going to wet it down here. On the first dip, it takes a little bit to soak it up. If you feel like it's just way too sopping wet, you can tap some off on a rag. And I'm going to wet down the page with nice big strokes. Sometimes you'll notice that uh, when you first buy it, the bristles uh, come out a little bit, but you can wipe them, wipe them off and it stops happening after a little bit of time. And I can come into some color here. This is just a little bit of Veriditor Blue and I can make really soft, wet into wet strokes. So it's great at feathering out color can come in with a bit of a dark color. You could see it would also be great for uh, landscapes, doing skies or oceans. And what's nice is you can use just the corner of the brush or you can use the whole brush to spread it out. So I wetted the top of the page there and starting to build up some color. This part is still dry and I'll show you what the brush looks like when I do more of a dry brush technique. So my brush is still wet, but it's it's drier in terms of, I haven't just plumped it into there. And you can get some great texture from this brush if you just drag it really lightly. So I just wanna build up something soft that I can come back to and journal on later with some writing. So any areas you've done with the dry brush that you wanna soften, again, dip it in the water, and then you can just feather it out. The other thing the hockey brush is really great at is uh is when you put an intense amount of pigment onto your page, you can add the water and pull that pigment out. So I'm gonna rinse it off and get it ready for that next step. And then I'm just using a regular synthetic brush here to load up some color. I think I'll come into that ultramarine with a little bit of burnt sienna. And I'm gonna do some mark making down here that's really intense color and then I'll use the brush to pull into that color. Already it's starting to run into some of those wet into wet areas. But we'll add some marks here and then encourage it to run even more. So when I pull it across, It'll touch into those colors and pull them out. You can see it start to run there. I'm 
I'm always careful here at the seams to make sure that it doesn't puddle down into that hole too much. You don't want it running through to your other pages. Might bring that color up into another part of the page too. So already wet into wet with the synthetic brush, it's starting to run, but I can encourage it to do even more by adding more water. And I'm gonna create some interesting blooms in the paint. When I'm doing watercolor journaling, I'm also watching around the edges um, if I get puddling here to make sure that it doesn't build up too much of a hard line at the edge. Thank you. 